past nine. Let's talk high tech. The high tech stories of the week with uh, Paul Brislin at twitter.com forward slash Paul Brislin joining us. Morning, Paul. Good morning. How are you? Very well. Thank you very much. Um, today, a um, bit of a mobile special. We're looking at um, some of the new technologies um, and operating systems coming out on mobiles. Of course, there was that iPhone 4S announcement and the iOS 5, which we talked about. The, That's right. The um, pretty haphazard sort of rollout of that. But one of the interesting elements of the iOS 5 is something called Siri. That's right. That's right. And Siri is, uh, initially when I heard it, I thought, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, sort of voice recognition, ask your phone things and it'll tell you. Um, but uh, in fact, it's a lot more than that. And there's a, there's a very good um, uh, interview from uh, the Scobleizer, Robert Scoble, uh, up with the two guys who created Siri. Apple bought this company called Siri uh, a couple of years ago for 200 million US dollars. Uh, predominantly because of this very cool technology that they've developed, which allows you to ask real-world questions like, uh, how old is Tom Jones? I saw somebody tweet out the other day. Yeah. Uh, and it comes back not with um, a guess as to what you're asking in a series of links to web pages about what it might be about, but with the answer. Huh. Uh, and this is, this is really a challenge to uh, Google in particular because they've always pushed the whole, um, uh, that's, that's their end game. They don't want to provide you with links to information. They want to provide you with the information itself mm. that you've asked for. So, uh, you know, this is, this is uh, uh, quite a challenge for them and uh, quite a step up for Apple, I think. It, it could be quite interesting. It, the downside is, of course, you've got to stand there talking to your phone, looking yeah. like a moron. But, yeah. uh, you know, um, apparently people used to talk to phones in the old days and, and that's what they were for, it seems quite quite bizarre these days but uh yes but also the challenge is though for the phone to actually understand you in the first place and, and these voice recognition well, technologies they're far, still far from perfect they really are they are they are and and i've seen uh, over the years i've seen so many of these um from the dragon dictate of the early days that um you know uh, couldn't cope with the new zealand accent that you had to spend about 100 hours training it before uh, it could understand you properly um, uh, you know, right through to even Siri, you know, at the, at the launch, they were talking into it very much like you would talk to a small child or, or somebody who, who didn't speak English as a first language. Uh, and it was very slow and stilted and measured. Um, but if the search results come back uh, with the sort of quality we've seen, mm. then, um, you know, that's, that's probably worth, uh, worth it for a first version. And, uh, you know, more power to them, I say. Mm. So um, perhaps hopefully it'll, it'll go beyond just being a party trick and a way to imp impress your friends, <laughs> actually something useful. Well, yeah, yeah. And I mean, at the moment, it's providing hours of entertainment for those of us who, uh, who read the, uh, the websites and look at things like... Um, uh, I think uh, it, there, there are a couple of websites with some of the stuff that Siri comes up with because mm. they've programmed it with quite a sense of humor by the sound of things. So uh, that's all good and fun. But when it becomes a proper tool and something that you just use um, without thinking about it, that's when the power really kicks mm. in, I think. Ice Cream Sandwich, which is the latest um, operating uh, <laughs> version of um, Android, Android 4.0, I know, they're crazy names they come up with. They um, just uh, released... Um, or made the announcement about what it is and what it looks like, yep. and also the new, the first phone that's going to carry it, which will be the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the first, the first of, right. the, of the Nexus phones that doesn't have Nexus first, but has Galaxy first instead. Um, very nice, yep. very sexy device. But what was interesting was the ice cream sandwich, and 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 um, and it looks to be a a, a reasonable competitor. Well, it really does, doesn't it? I mean, this is uh, this is quite a, an overhaul for the um, the Google operating system, uh, and uh, it's got some uh, you know cute little features in there that uh, you may or may not care about, like um, uh, voice uh, sorry face recognition. Um, so when you switch it on, instead of typing in a password or, or swiping a series of keys, yeah, uh, you just let it look at your face, and hopefully it'll let you in. So there are lots of questions around um, what happens if the lighting's pretty bad or um, if I'm in you know, the back of a cab on the way home um, looking worse for wear, how's that going to cope? Um, and what if somebody comes along and just holds a picture of me up to my phone, will it let them in? Yeah. Uh, so there are a few issues there to develop. But it, you know, it bodes well that we're thinking uh, more about these devices uh, and how we interact them than, than just cell phones. You know, so between Siri, between this kind of thing, we're starting to move into a world where um, you don't actually need buttons to work your phone. You don't need a keyboard anymore. Uh, you know, the mouse has gone away. We're really moving into a whole new era of user interface, and it's really quite exciting, I think. Including uh, not, and it, not just mobile devices as well, but um, gaming devices, so example right. being the Xbox Connect. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when that was first announced, uh, you know, Microsoft is building um, a, a game console where you don't have a controller. You know, I just laughed my socks off. Mm. It was ridiculous. Uh, you know, who's going to play that? How can you how can you play a game when you've got no controller? Uh, and then, uh, well, we've got one, and the kids spend their time uh, brushing imaginary cats and um, whitewater rafting and a whole host of things, which are actually bags and bags of fun, uh, and which are incredibly, um, uh, incredibly well controlled. Mm. Uh, and you've been playing with the, the car racing, haven't you? I have, yeah. Um, uh, so, I mean, th- there's that, the motion control also in the Kinect, but also voice recognition is now mm. going to become a more important part as they roll out the new dashboard in November. Um, I yeah. just, just saw a demo the other day of uh, Sims Pets, and a lot of what happens inside that game is voice recognition. You know, show yeah, me yeah. the poodle, that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that could be my new sting. That's excellent. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so bring me the poodle. <laughs> Show me the poodle. So uh, and but you know, uh, and Microsoft's done a, a tremendous job with the Kinect, hasn't it? Because that is a gorgeous bit of mm. technology. Yeah. One of the fastest selling bits of kit as well. And um, uh, on top of that, of course, now they've bought Skype. You integrate all of that into your television, and that's the end of phone calls. You know, that's that's. There's no more ringing granny. Uh, you just, um, you know, everybody's got an Xbox with Connect, uh, and the kids use gesture control or voice control. Tell the television, I want to talk to Granny, and uh, all of a sudden you're connected through. Yep, that, that really is, is the it's yeah, science that, fiction, isn't it? So it it's is fascinating, and that's really the missing link. This, this, this deal with Skype. Um, the, it was just confirmed this week that the sale has actually got gone through. It's been yep. approved by the um, regulatory authorities. So um, hopefully, we should see Skype rolling out across more devices and make this yeah. this talking to your TV, talking to family through your TV in actual reality. Well, that, that's right. And, and, you know, Microsoft is in the strange position now of, um, let's, let's be blunt, you know, losing the, uh, the mobile war, but winning and becoming the, uh, the world's biggest telco overnight, mm. uh, in effect. Mm. Now, there's not a lot of money to be made out of Skype, you know. Um, when you divide free local calls and um, free Skype calls by um, 200 million customers, you don't end up with a lot of change out of your investment. Mm. But, uh, you know, it's, it's um, astonishing to see the, the changes in the environment in the last few years. Who would have thought that Microsoft would be a telco or that uh, BlackBerry would just disappear from the scene in, uh, at quite the rate of knots that it has at the moment? Do you think, actually, just um, just to finish on, do you think we're seeing a settling down of the industry as a whole? We've got all these big players, and and there was always talk about one player was going to take over another, and another one was fa- uh, you know going to fail. But right now we've got Microsoft in a nice position, Apple's there, Google's there, even Yahoo, who knows what they do, but they're over there and they seem to be happy. Um, Facebook, yep. everyone is, seems to be existing, and no one is going to go away anytime soon. No, no, that's right. They're all, uh, we've got a lot of consolidation. So you do have um, things compounding down to a few big players. Um, but uh, they are all uh, of a size that they can hold their own. And they're all slightly different. They're all, they're not competing for the same slice of pie. They're, they're growing the whole pie. So we've got Amazon in there as well, of course, with mm. the Kindle, uh, with the online shopping experience. Each one is, is, has carved out a niche that's quite different to the others. Um, uh, but there's, there's room for overlap in the middle there. And that's where all the fun happens. But, uh, you know, I think, yeah, they, we, we are um, reaching a period of, of sort of stability for the next little while. And instead of the business world fighting it out, it will be down to the technology and, and what you want to do with uh, the kit that you've got. So we will see um, the, the, uh, the tablets um, fighting on. Uh, mobile phones have become very exciting lately. Um, we're, start, we're starting to see now moving into the user interface and into the experience itself. And, you know, it's, it's very exciting times. It's, it's going to be quite cool for the next few years, I think. Indeed. All right. Well, um, you can continue the high-tech conversation with Paul over on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Paul Brisbane. We'll see you next week. Enjoy the long weekend. And you. Go Wales for the Cup. <laughs> Fly